Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 19 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon, part of the Reignited Trilogy. So in the last episode, we beat Haunted Tomb and the Sorceress. And wait a second, what's this big lug doing over here? Don't worry Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back at Avalar. Uh... Uh-oh. Why are you looking at me like that? I, am. Uh, <laughs> I've got to be going now! Toodles! Yeah, so guess what you get to do? You get to steal everything back from money bags. Every little penny he pinched from you. And you get to steal that dragon egg. Ugh. 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 I love how you can just rapid flame him like, ugh, ugh. Even though you don't actually get any more gems by doing it. You just... I think there's 10,000, right? I think? Or is it 12,000? Mmm, nope, it's more than 10,000, that's for sure. Is that 11,000? Give me all the money. Oh, nope. 12,000, maybe? And all the money that we're getting back is ridiculously crazy! I love how we essentially make him broke, too. This guy never gets to keep his money in the end, does he? And how much money are we stealing from this poor bear? Jeez, we're at 14,000 gems now. Oh, there we go. Drat! Double drat! Drat, 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 drat! I never knew dragons were so fast! That's it! I give up! I'm retiring to Spooky Swap to become a haiku poet. And that's actually referenced in Enter the Dragonfly. Ow. <laughs> Ow's a goofball. Yeah, wait, wait, why are you going to Crystal Islands? And there we go. We now have 100 or 14,800 of 15,000. So nice, we only have 200 more gems to go. Which, I wonder where those could be. Definitely not over here, are they? Just before you kicked this yeah, and now we just gotta go to the bug bot factory. Now, the fight here is actually pretty annoying, because it's actually a pretty difficult boss fight. Luckily now, we can tell how many gems we're missing, because we don't have to backtrack at all. Also, I believe this is the only other level where beetles outside of the first level are actually used. Which is always funny that they always teach Sparks like how to do like the charge thing and everything, but then it's not until like hours into the game again that you actually ever deal with them. Which is kind of weird, but... Ladybugs. Weird that like the final enemies would be ladybugs and weird beetle that shoots out ladybugs. Remember, these are just machines though, they're not actually uh, living creatures. And these are apparently created by the sorceress, because the sorceress wanted to create an army of robot bugs to stop sparks of all things. Kind of weird if you ask me, but no one asked me, so who cares. Whoa, yeah, these things. Ow, oh, it died, like... Wait, it was invisible there for a second, did you see that? Just straight up invisible. Which one is that? Oh, it's the shield, okay. Dun 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 There we go, we got you. Then I can just use the shield to mow down half these enemies, just like nothing. Mass, kill them all. And we can't go in that doorway apparently. So this door maybe? Nope, not that door either. Which means it's this door. No? This door? Thank you. <laughs> it is this one. Oh god, it's both of them. So many little ladybugs. These guys actually have quite a bit of health if you think about it. Is that a power up? Finally. I was wondering when we'd actually get a power-up, and wow, we already have most of the gems for the level 2. 
and you're dead, which means that we get to go to the red path. Ah, I knew dashing would be a bad idea. Any more enemies this way? Oh, that looks like the boss room, actually. What are you doing up so close to my face there, Mr. Giant Beetle Bot? Well, it was a Beetle Bot, at least. Oh. These guys, huh? Wait, they die, like, off-screen like that. That's so weird, they're... Their attacks are so delayed, it's not even funny. Come on, just die already, man. Ugh, these guys function just like the thieves and kind of, like, push you around. Now you get to die a horrible fate too, Mr. Insectoid. Wait, if you drop a gold gem, that's all the gems. That's all the gems in the game. Now we got just a boss fight, yeah. Big boss fight. Against whatever these things are. Centipedes, I guess. Oh no, we took one damage from the boss. That's unacceptable. Wait, is the boss really already dead? Like, here in a second? Yeah, that was it. That was the level. That was it. Woohoo. That's Annabelle. And there we go. That's it. 100% level complete. And there we go. Guys, we officially beat the game. Time to end the episode. Just kidding. We still have one more little area to go to. Remember, sparks can break open treasure chests. And using the guidebook? Um, okay. Cool. That doesn't really benefit anything. Like, why are you telling me this info now? Because now we have to go over here to the super secret or super bonus round. I thought it was called the super secret bonus round. But anyways, here we go. I wonder what's over here if we collected everything in the game. Uh uh. Well, here we have 5,000 gems. Woo! A secret egg. So, yeah, this world officially has the most levels. And, oh, Bianca's back. Hey, you finally made it, Spyro. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure. But after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. Oh, by the way, Hunter is around here somewhere. He's been tinkering with one of his new toys all day, and he wants to show it off. You should go see him. You actually run into him a few times. But yeah, they actually changed the thieves to have little treasure chests in their hands instead of, uh... Eggs. In the original game, they didn't actually hold anything, they just ran around. And yeah, they're gonna mass drop gems like that when you kill them. Which is insane, because it's a lot of gems, but it is really cool. Not gonna lie, I do like the uh, the effect of killing them and having all the gems pop up like that. Like, let's be honest there. And there we go, he's dead. And there's also flying sheep saucers in the air too, which is kind of weird, and each area requires a specific amount of gems to get into. Oh man, I thought... Oh yeah, I forgot Sparks is technically supposed to pick gems up from further away, but he never does because of how buggy he is half the time. Hey you, hold still. Punk. You have the right to remain silent. And he's dead because of it. And, oh my god, he's dead too. Oh god, my control is vibrating like a madman with how many gems we're collecting all at once. Holy, I think we broke the game there for a second with how many gems we got. Now we can't go into that one, because it requires 185,000 gems. That's a lot of gems, holy cow. Over we go. 
and more gems! Eh, not too many big gems in that one, honestly. Oh, I could hear the door open. So, let's go in here. What's well, Hunter? Hi, Spyro. Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. <laughs> it was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. Hmm. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Why don't you try taking it for a spin? Want to take my sub for a spin? Yeah, why not? Great. Hop aboard. All this world is, though, is gimmicks that you've previously done before, and this time it's all for gems, so that's a thing. Like, there, there's nothing special about this area. Actually, I'm pretty sure all these guys, all, all you do in here is kill these guys anyway. You don't actually go in the water at all, ever. Outside from killing these guys, yeah, because they just drop gems now. Wait, that guy just like, did you see that? He kind of turned invisible there for a second. Fire in the hole. No, he just went around the corner at the worst possible second. You, you're you're the one annoying me, so get lost. Come on, get back here, you. And there we go, we got him right as he went around the corner. That was beautiful. I think you only have to destroy the seven of them. I don't think there's any more after this. Not like the actual mini game. Wait, why did that lose? He was still on my screen. You're not supposed to de lock on. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have the last one. Where is he exactly? Oh, he's above because. Cause you could hear the uh, the lock on sound effect, and boom, and that's it. Now we can leave this little area. All right, that's that done. Why do we end on such a weird number of gems? Okay, so he's pointing up there now instead of down below. Oh yeah, this part. Check it out. This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard course. The local champions are the Sasquatch Six, a gang of yetis on souped up snow discs. I bet that you could outrace the lot of them. If you win, we'll get a huge pile of treasure. If you lose, I'll have to slick down the whole course with my tongue. Ow. So, ready to race? Right on. Just don't lose or my tongue's gonna be a popsicle. Funny thing is, in the original, this race was one of the hardest, if not hardest, parts of the entire game. In this version of the game, however, it's kind of a joke. Honestly, the hard part is just going back and collecting all the gems, honestly. Like, I've even... I've even died a few times in this and still came out on top. Which is normally not something that you can do in this, uh, in this game with races, is dying. And the fact that you can just, like, kind of run into them like that makes it even easier. Well, I didn't even realize, we actually still have, um, the missile. I don't know if that'll actually hit him or not, but... Jesus Christ, that has, like, the range of... Wait, he somehow spawned in front of us. Like, what the? Can't really complain, but still, like, that's so weird. Woo! Wait, how did you get out in front of me there, buddy? Also, why do I not get the speed boost from those lately? You ever notice that? I'm just... Just not getting the speed boosts at from like at all from anything in this game. Ow. And now I'm apparently third place. I don't know if I'm gonna win this, just cause like I'm not gaining like any speed. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna have to quit the race. So Just because like I don't know what was going on there, but it just wasn't gaining like any speed. There we go, now we have a ton of speed. 
And apparently we hit whatever happened there. That was annoying, but whatever. Um, why does it keep doing that, though? We're, we haven't even gained, like, one spot, despite having a full bar of, uh... Of, um, whatchamacallit? Boost. Wait, did he knock me off my board? I don't think I've ever had that before. Are you serious? What is this game trying to do? It's being a complete and utter troll. Oh my god, that yeti's right on my tail feathers. Or tail scales, I guess, because I'm a dragon. Balls! Like, what is going on here? So, right up. Like, even using the boost, like, I don't feel like I gain much of anything. There we go, now we have a ton of boost. Again. Why did you go for that one instead of the one right in front of you? Kind of confusing, but sure. What the heck is that going on there, game? These crabs are not worth very much, are they? Also, why won't he make that jump? I'm literally using the boost. I know you can't tell, but you can see the bar going down above. I hear a yeti behind me already. Get out of here, you stupid yeti weddy. Is he... Did he seriously just push me off the cliff? Like, get away from me, you yeti. Wait, he's back already? I can hear him behind me. Whoa, he just... He just picked up my own speed and turned me into a maniac. Like, what the heck was that game? Like, sheesh. This will probably be the final episode of this game, though. I kind of want to kill this crab. Because crabs are worth the most when it comes to, uh, speed. Ow, that was on me. Whoa! He's got to stop running into me like that, because, like, it just sends me for a loop. Well, it looks like we're gonna win. Now we just have to collect the gems throughout the level. Yes! You schooled them like a bunch of frostbitten, flat-footed, molasses-eating, lead-pants-wearing, cross-eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom! Yeah, we want some shiny stuff, too. Okay. Uh, that was a little drastic, don't you think? Now we have to sit here and go through all these gems. Woohoo, lots of treasure. A little over the top, don't you think, game? We can't even move. This is ridiculous. I love how Sparks is just like, winky winky face, buddy. Ugh, I can't get up there. Though I'm pretty sure we need to stay on this one. There we go, there's that gem done. Now I'm pretty sure we just need to make it to that one to end section, right? Where um, that ramp is, I guess technically the beginning. And I'm pretty sure that's where the last of the gems are. I don't think there are any gems down here still. Yeah, see the speed boost with this skateboard doesn't really scream boost now, does it? 
Uh, doesn't look like we missed anything outside of here other than that one spot. Like up here. Alright, let's do this! Wait, did we... Wait, wait, wait a second. Did we actually get all the gems here? Yeah, jeez louise. Now, did we actually... No, I don't think we're missing anything, because we're still at the... The, the 773 total, which means that there were gems somewhere else. Uh, that one requires 20,000, so we can't go in that one just yet. Can we go in this one? Yeah, we can go in whatever this one is. Oh, this is the uh, the flying sheep saucer one. We get infinite flying fireball breath to destroy all these stupid flying sheep. Do any of the enemies here actually even attack you? I got hit by something. It wasn't health, though. Like, or damage. It was just something that knocked me down. Oh, it's the crystals! They have like a really weird big hitbox. There we go, you're dead. And now we just gotta kill this sheep saucer, and you're dead. Now get your butt over here, Mr. Sheepy. Oh, I think we had seen a sheep up above. Yeah, there he is. There we go, is that all the sheep now? Oh, no, there's still sheep over here. See, they just throw in a little bit of everything in this level. We had the submarines, we had the sheep, we had a, a skateboard race, an invisible wall again. Wait, and that's all the gems. Wait, why is he... Why is he pointing over there? Now, where was that door that we couldn't open? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Oh, the sorceress is back. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Hmm. Your best chance of defeating her is my flying saucer. I've cast some spells to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time. But the rest is up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her. Yeah, once again, it just keeps the music of the level. Like, I feel like this... Is she even gonna do anything? I was like, geez, it's gonna be a super easy fight if she never fights back. That's annoying. Especially since you technically don't get all Sparks' power-ups in this game. Like, he doesn't get the extra health in this one for whatever reason. At least I don't think he did. I haven't noticed it, especially when we took all that extra damage in the Haunted Tomb level. And there we go, we defeated her once again. Yin and Yang. Now this is another dragon that was supposed to be white and black. Except... Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. There we have it guys, that is the entire Spyro Reignited Trilogy for the Xbox. And yeah, it was, it was, it's a good series. There are a lot of bugs in this game though. Like when you compare this to like Crash 4 for example, it, made by the same company, it's a little lackluster. But overall, not a bad game. It is an enjoyable, fun experience, so I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I hope you guys continue to watch the channel. 
I will be figuring out how to fix Spyro 2 there. So for the meantime, we've been playing like Pokemon Yellow, which was voted as the next game to replace. I forget which game it was that we had finished that it was meant to replace, but we finally have it being uploaded and stuff like that, so I expect that. I'm going to try and figure out how to get my PS3 recorded. I don't know why every time I go to record, it freezes. Only when I record. When I'm not recording it, it works perfectly fine, but when I go to record, it freezes. It's like it knows that I'm trying to, because the PS3 had like an anti-streaming thing, and it was just annoying. Um, so, this game, honestly, could have been better. Like, they put so much time and effort into the first game. The second game was fine, and then the third game kind of... The third game lacked, um like, uniqueness like it did in the original. Like, even though both the third game on the Reignited Trilogy and in the original trilogy were rushed, the first version of it came out better. Because the dragon, the, the dragon hatchlings, while for the most part were generic, there were a few that were, you know, super unique. Like, the one in Ba, it actually was in a sheep outfit, it unzipped itself and turns out it was a dragon, and Yin and Yang were black and white. But, for whatever reason in this game, they didn't do that, and it was just silly. I, I do like these little art scenes at the end, though. Like, all the different dragons that you rescued, and stuff like that. Also, you, you notice, like... None of these people that worked on this game had anything to do with, like, the originals. Insomniac seems to be primarily focusing on Marvel and occasionally Ratchet and Clank. Man, PS3 era, though, was my favorite Insomniac era. Because we got the, the Ratchet and Clank trilogy, and then we had Deadlock Remastered, which was a buggy mess, but you could still play it. You had the Future trilogy, you also had All for One, you had Full Frontal Assault, and you had Into the Nexus. And then PS4, you only had the movie game, and then PS5, you only have, uh, um, oh, what's the name of the newest one? Ratchet and Clank. Oh, I forget the name of it. Because I've never, I don't have a PS5, but yeah. It, it it's really sad though how like we went from having three or four Ratchet and Clank games on PS2 to like ten or eleven on PS3 or more to then only having one on PS4 and then one on PS5. Oh yeah, and the PSP also had more. So the PS2 technically had five games, six if you include Secret Agent Clank, but it also had Size Matters. Which is a PSP game. PS Vita never had a Ratchet and Clank game though. Well, I think it did. I think All for One and Full Frontal Assault, or only Full Frontal Assault, were also on PS Vita, but I could be wrong. That's just a different story. And yeah. Anyways, I think I'll leave you guys with the rest of the credits and I'll see you guys next time. This is probably the longest episode. Primarily because there was like a little bit of mumbo jumbo in this one, like the credits. We usually sit through all the credits and uh, play through once we're officially done the game. Only when we're officially done the game, unless it's like something like Pokemon, for example, where the credits come after you beat like the Elite Four, and then you solve the post-game stuff if there is any. Which then we'd watch it there. A game like this, I knew that credits were going to trigger again at the end, so nothing new. Also, Spyro painted a pentagram on that dragon. Forge Studios. Jeez, there were all these people making this game. Despite, you know, it being such a buggy mess. And they never did patch that. They never did patch where Sparks won't pick up gems half the time. Uh, he never had the ability to... Well, it said he had the ability to break baskets and stuff, but it never really worked that way. Nah, I don't know. Like, I think Spyro 1 was, was a great remake, despite being a really, really short game like the original. And, well, the thing is, it's not a remake, it's a remaster. Remakes add or change stuff in a game. This was not the case. This is entirely old content, just reskinned, essentially. Now, the biggest down... Uh, like, biggest FU, I guess, from any remake game was Pokemon BDSP, 
where it wasn't really a remake it was a remaster with the underground part added and that was literally it everything else about the game was worse except for like the elite four fights being stronger other than that everything about the game was worse they they focused solely on like the bad parts of diamond and pearl and brought them in they didn't do any per uh platinum content it was just yeah these credits are taking forever aren't they it's like he hangs out with like every one of the original dragons, like in the original world, but... Yeah, we're kind of at the point where we're just kind of blabbering on about whatever random stuff we want to talk about. Still gotta record at least one more episode of something after this, so... Because I only have four videos recorded for today. I like to record six, so it usually lasts me till like the next weekend. But the one Persona video I had recorded ended up taking like way too long to record because it was like a 40 minute episode, so... Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely check out the Patreon. You guys could be voting for what the heck we play next without having to worry about what others say. So, you guys should definitely check that out. It's definitely, in my opinion, worthwhile seeing. Also, it allows you guys to help out the channel a lot and build it up. So, you know, oh, that mic audio is terrible. Oh, well, then, guess what? We can buy a new microphone if you guys were to support the channel. Or uh, a new computer, or a new game system, or new hardware to record. Because I do want to get an Elgato, but we're currently using a Fosmac, or Foscomax, and let's be real, it, it sucks. The amount of, like, work you have to put into using it and getting it to work is just ridiculous. Anyways, I think that'll be enough for the credits. We've been here for kind of a week, uh, kind of a while, so see you guys next time. Bye-bye.